Hi guys. I was thinking of putting some battery powered lights in my shed and I spotted this for sale the other day. A solar powered 12 volt battery charger for £9.99 in Maplin's Electronics. So I thought it looked like a reasonable size. So I'd give it a try. I think I might play around with it a bit before I put it out in the shed. See what else I can do with it. If I can get it open. I just thought it looked like a reasonable sized solar cell. don't like the way it was stuck down. It's got staples through it that keep sticking in my fingers as I'm moving it around. I suppose I should have taken them all out first. Anyway, that's a side issue. So what have we got? We've got a nice big solar panel hmm, with a flashing blue LED on it, which I assume means it's taking charge from the lights at the moment. Operation. As long as there's sufficient sunlight available, the charger will produce an electrical current to trickle charge your battery. An LED is located on the edge of the case. This will flash whenever the battery is receiving charge. So, that must mean that's picking up some charge from the ambient light in my bedroom here. So we can have a look, see what we've got. It's apparently getting something, isn't it? Obviously that's with no load on it. Somewhere between 3 and 5 volts from the look of it. Jumping around there. Don't usually get very much off these lights at all, because they're just um, low wattage. CFLs. I wonder if there's enough there to power a little electric motor. No. <laughs> I would have thought it would have driven that. Shall we have a look to see what's inside it? certainly did these screws up tight. Anybody would think they didn't want you to take it apart. So what have we got? A plastic swarf. Not very much in the way of circuitry. I thought it was going to be a bit more than that. Just a diode, a resistor, and an LED. So 
really gives me the impression this is a particularly low powered solar panel. motor works fine off that little solar panel. I paid a tenner for this. It's not even producing enough power to spin a little one and a half volt motor. Wow, 20 volts, or 19.8 volts according to that, but absolutely no power with it. One and a half milliamps open circuit. Apparently, nearly 20 volts open circuit. wired that motor directly onto the panel. I'll go and stick it in my conservatory so it'll be in full sunlight tomorrow. And we'll see if it produces enough power to actually drive that little motor. Because so far I am totally unimpressed. more power out of that one. We don't have very bright sunlight yet today, even though it's uh, 
what time is it? Nearly 10 o'clock. But we're getting late in the year now, so the sun's quite low in the sky. And as I say, it's not very bright. But I'm going to do a little time-lapse session here. Because I don't want to sit and watch all morning just to see if there is enough power to turn that motor. But for comparison... That's exactly the same motor on my helicopter there, and that's got two small solar panels on it, and also got my little solar, uh, I've forgotten what they're called now, <laughs> solar bot, which has got a tiny little panel on it as well, but that's got a much smaller motor. So we'll just see if we get enough sunlight on this great big panel, I say great big, comparatively compared to that one, to drive the same motor. So I'll leave the time lapse running and we'll see what happens. To make this test as fair as possible, I'll come out into the garden. It's a hazy day today. The sun is up there, but it's behind the clouds. So, I've set up my little time-lapse camera there, so we can see if the motor does actually turn at all at any time. Whoa, look at that. We've got some power. If I put the helicopter there in the sunlight as well, there we go. Well, in that case I don't really need the time lapse, do I? But I'll leave it going, just in case the sun goes in. <laughs> Frame rate on the camera makes the helicopter look like it's going backwards. It's actually spinning quite fast. So, full sunlight, <laughs> full sunlight, hazy sunlight, and we've got enough power to run the motor. <laughs> 